Welcome back, friends. You might ask why I'm hugging a roll of paper towels. Well, there's a good reason, because your project this month is a paper towel holder. But it's not just any paper towel holder. It's a paper towel holder with an animal on it. This one happens to have a monkey. I'm gonna slide this off so you can see. We've got four pieces here. We've got our animal. We've got a little dowel holding the animal into the base plate. We've got the base plate. And we've got the dowel that the paper towels go on. But uh, this is just our prototype. So let's see what you guys are getting in your kit and how you guys are gonna make it. So, I think it's probably pretty obvious this is the big dowel. Then we've got a little bitty dowel, little bitty brown 3D printed dowel. I'll set that right there so I don't lose it. That'd be very easy to lose. Got our wood base, because we're woodworkers after all. And uh, this one, I've just got a few of these in here, but you're gonna pick one up and you're gonna have to choose when you pick yours up between a monkey, a cat, a dog, a unicorn, or a shark. That's the other one, the shark's my favorite. So what, I, I don't have them all in front of me, but I do have the cat, and I do have the monkey, and I do have this fascinating, multicolor, fantastic unicorn here, which, if you didn't know, is the national animal of Scotland. Um, these are plastic, these are 3D printed, but you can paint them just as easily as you can paint the rest of this. That's just an easier way for us to be able to make these with all the fine details. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take this little bitty dowel and you'll notice you got two holes in this. Actually, the first thing you're probably gonna do is you're probably gonna paint this first. So I would decorate and paint this first. Sand it a little bit if you want to, but I'm gonna show you how to put it together. So this dowel, it's gonna be a tight fit. We want it to be a tight fit. You can put glue in there, but because it's a tight fit, I don't necessarily have to do that. I'm just gonna take my little plastic mallet this time, tap that down in there, and I can pull it out. I might have actually just broke it, uh, but that's okay. I am gonna pull it out and I'm gonna put a little bit of wood glue in there. Really, super glue might be better, but uh, we're woodworkers, we have wood glue. Doesn't take much, we're just trying to keep it in there. So that's in there now. Next, I gotta decide what animal I'm gonna use. I gotta go with the unicorn. And I am gonna go with the orangish side out. Now these, these may be really tight. Um, and that's just because of the way the plastic sits on the bed. But I can push it down on there and it is not going to come off there. Uh, for the monkey and the cat, you may be able to tap it with a hammer a little bit, or what I could have done, this I could pull this out actually because it's glued in. What I could have done is I could have sat it like this, and I could have, I can tap that in there really well, and that is not coming out of the unicorn, and then I've got my glue in this hole, and that is not gonna come out of that hole when the glue dries. And then the last thing I gotta do, put a little bit of glue in here, and then I'm gonna take this dowel, and that end's kind of tight, which I like, but I wanna see how tight this is. That end's even tighter. This end will be perfect. I'm gonna put that in there, and I'm gonna tap it in. And there I have my unicorn paper towel holder. This would make a great gift, but, but the reason we did this is because you guys do so many gifts, so many projects with us, and we use a lot of glue, and I bet you guys make a lot of messes with your glue. I know I do. So this way, you have your very own paper towel holder wherever you keep your tools and craft supplies. And not only is it a cool paper towel holder, but it's got an animal on it. And it's something you made. So enjoy and send us some pictures. And I can't wait to see how you paint up your animals and how you paint up your paper towel holders and what you end up doing with it. Maybe you have a better idea than a paper towel holder. Suppose you could also stack toilet paper on this. Maybe something else. Let me know what you find out.